So the first thing I need to do to make this cowboy hat is to give it a base. And for the sake of this tutorial, I am not going to be making a cowboy hat this large. I'm actually going to shrink the size. But if I flatten the rim of this and I look at the overall shape, I'm not actually looking at a circle. I'm looking at more of an oval shape. So to get an oval shape, the best thing to do is to take some newspaper and pre-cut out a pattern before I move over to tracing that onto my clay slab. So to do that, I am just going to take anything Round. My overall length of the hat will end up being this size of this circle. You could use a plate or you could use basically just anything round that you can possibly find. And though this is a circle at the moment, I'm going to show you how to make this into an oval really easily by starting out with that circle first. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace this circle onto my newspaper. And once I have that circle, I then need to get rid of some of the sides to bring it in a little bit so I can basically create that oval shape that I'm going for. So what I want to do is try and find some kind of straight edge or a ruler and for the moment I'll just use the edge of this board here. I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to eyeball what I think looks like a decent amount to cut off. Once I have that line I need to go in and just soften this little curve a bit so I will come in and round it over a bit here. And here and then I'm gonna cut this out with a pair of scissors now that I cut out my circle I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that one side where I drew that line and made that little bit of the rounded over edges okay so here's my almost oval shape. I'm now going to take this, fold it in half, and then I can use where I cut as a guide to go ahead and cut the other side. I'm going to take this template over to my slab and cut out this oval pattern. I'm going to take my fettling knife and go in and score around the pattern. Now I want to make this little flip up curve onto my slab. So one of the easiest ways to do that is going to be to take something roundish. These are just some wooden dowels. You could use old pipes. You could even use um, rolling pins if you have that or cardboard paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls if you have those, whatever you have. The slab I'm using is fairly wet and because of that I'm going to be able to flex it, get a nice curve going. But before I do that I want to make sure I put some newspaper over these two pieces of dowel and the board so that the slab as it begins to shrink doesn't stick to my board. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and let this firm up so that the shape holds itself and I don't lose this little curve here as I continue to work. I'm just tracing around with my tip of my needle tool after I went in and cut down that paper template I don't want to cut this, I just want a guideline of where I'm going to be putting some slab. Before I can attach my slab, I want to make sure I put an air hole directly in the middle of this piece. I've reinforced the inside of that seam with some coil because this is not one of the strongest ways of joining, just having it butt up directly against itself. It definitely would be stronger if I had it overlapping, however, it is a much cleaner look when you have it butt up against itself. So you're going to have to use the best judgment, you choose which version you like better, whether you like, you know, having that butt up connected to itself or do the overlapping thing. They're both not without downfalls. I'm gonna go in and roll some coil and make sure I connect that coil all the way down at the bottom of this top piece of slab that I've just attached to make sure it's good and strong on there. Just making sure I'm blending 
the connection of the top of that slab really well with the bottom. Have my original hat off to the side that I'm just eyeballing to try and use as a reference for the top of this piece here. Not a bad idea if you don't actually have a hat that you're using as a reference, just have some pictures that you can look at of different angles of the hats. Now I want to get some really soft and thin slabs so I can make this kind of sweeping little indentation that's happening. I don't know where it's going to land, so I'm just going to score everything because it doesn't really matter. But no one's going to see the underside. So I didn't like how high this top was and I just accidentally plowed a hole through this thing. Now I could just take some soft slab and patch that, but I think I'm going to make this hat look a little bit worn. And I'm just going to leave the hole because if the hat was worn out, it might have, you know, some holes in it as well. So I'm going to wrap this up in some plastic and let it set up overnight so that this structure and the bits that I just added on can get good and strong before I go in and do any more messing with it. 